championship contest is set for five five-minute rounds of fighting in the middleweight division. Our three judges scoring this contest are Andy Roberts, Paul Sutherland, and Mark Woodard. Your referee for this bout is Mark Goddard. And now, the moment you've been waiting for! A fight that's been in the making for over 10 months! The talk is over! The hype is over! Two fighters enter the cage with one goal in mind to become the Bella Middleweight Champion! Birmingham, are you ready? Birmingham, England, I once again ask you, are you Listen to that crowd. Introducing first on the enemy right corner. This man is a kickboxing fighter with a professional record of eight wins, eight losses, one draw, and one no contest. He has three wins by TKO. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 183 pounds. Fighting at a London in England. Presenting the challenge. This man is a mixed martial arts fighter with a professional record of 12 wins, 4 losses, with 5 wins coming by TKO. He stands 6 feet tall and he weighed in at 184 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the defending Malcolm, I'm ready to tear off my shirt and start fights with little kids. This guy is great at his job. Not only that, the main event, the fight of the night. So here we go, Pierre, and listen to that crowd. This is a sold-out arena for the main event here at Bama 4. Reed versus Watson, and nobody can wait, and we don't have to wait any longer as he brings them on. It's going now. An up kick from Alex Reed. Good punches back in Watson up. Big hooks. Reedy is looking very tight in the beginning stanza. A parry by Tom Kong Watson. Jab again. Front kick by Reed. Both I think he's setting out his score, Pierre. He's taking the fight to the champion to say, hey, you're here for a real fight, and that's what you're going to get. But the thing is, he wants to, he wants to, you know, come out with a bang. He doesn't want Watson to get into his groove and to set the pace. And as you said that, a nice short, chopping little uppercut from the challenger. Took a lead left hand there, but the uppercut was sweet and then took another left hand. Gotta be careful of that. Watson is so sharp, the champion. Oh, and slugging straight away, Pierre. Guys, these, there's, it's just translating into punches and bunches. Both guys, good footwork. Both guys are really swinging those punches. Oh, good. big kick from Watson Pierre, and no sign yet of either man wanting to take it to ground. They want to stay here and hurt each other. And guys, when they're training these punches. That left hand from Reed rocked him, Pierre. Reed rocked the champion. Reed is looking in the best condition of his life. He is fighting a smart game. He is using he's using all his tools that he has. And look at this. Reed is actually trying to take Watson down and is almost successful. And now he has the back of Tom Tom Watson. It's incredible, Pierre. And I believe Tom Tom Watson has blood coming from the top of his head. He's lost his gun shield as well, Pierre. What a start to the fight. Who would have expected this? I tell you what, Alex Reed is really surprising a lot of folks here tonight. I'm on the edge of my seat. And you are right. Tom Tom Watson is cut. And it's a bad cut, it looks like. Above the right eye there, Pierre. That was from that early exchange. This is going totally against the form book at the moment. And I tell you what, if Alex Reed had any doubters about his credibility, let's take a look at the beginning stanza of this bout. And if you were the champion, what would you be thinking now? I'm cut, I'd be taking to ground, I'd be hit with some short shots, I'd be 
Robert. This wasn't in the game plan. You know what, though? He trains with a great team. They're going to have trained him to, you know, to accept what has happened and to press on. And as a fighter, that's what you have to do. And don't forget, in this last fight, we thought he was down and out and gone in the first round, didn't we? And he surprised everybody. I'll tell you what, I've never seen a rear naked choke that tight, and he was able to press through. And a short elbow from the champion into the face of the challenger there. Now, both guys are jockeying for position. Now, Watson has turned the tables and then he's got Reed pinned up against the cage. Look, now, he's, you see he's trying to... Very nice elbow. He's trying to push the head down to get it closer to the knee, but opted for that right elbow instead. Yes, it was a short, chopping right elbow. And Pierre, elbows can finish a fight in one swift second. The thing about an elbow, you don't really need a lot of space to throw it. But they're sharp. They cut you. Breath stoppage is just as good as a knockout. So two minutes left of a breathless round on and another elbow from the champion. And they exchange again and listen to the crowd respond. A head kick, Pierre! I tell you what, that was a head high kick. Alex Reed shook it off and he still pressed forward. If, if we had worries about his conditioning or his determination or his desire, surely they've been answered in this first round already, Pierre. You know what? Let's move on from there. That is not even an issue at this point in the fight. Alex Reed has showed the new improved Alex Reed, the mixed martial artist Alex Reed. But now, let's not take anything from Tom Watson. Tom is doing the right thing. Oh, and another elbow as you said that, and Alex Reed acknowledged that. Is he cut on the corner of his eye as well? A little mouse on the corner of his right eye. No, big shot. He went for a double but opted for the single. However, Reed pulled him back up. Again, both guys jogging for position with Reed pressing him up and looking for a double or a single of his own. I can't see the positioning here. Look at the welt on the back of Reed's leg. That looks like a shark attack there. Now, Ty Plum or the tie clinch from Watson again turns it around and it fires off a right elbow. This is already a war, Pierre. A war of attrition. We've got in the first round. Is Reed oh, he hits him with a right. In the States, you call that a two-piece combo, and both of those landed flush. Now, we know that he's got good knees. He knocked out Jake Boswick with a uh, knee just like that that he just threw. Uh, in a K-1 bout. But we mentioned with Tom Tom Watson, we've got the kettle in the corner there, Alan Kettle, but he's a good... Oh, look at this! Now he this is using is that, that front kick, landed right up underneath the chin. And you know what? I didn't think that Watson expected that. And immediately he's going straight in for another takedown attempt, which Reed has pummeled back in. If there were doubters out there, he has just answered them. Alex Reed is still a mixed martial arts fighter. What a round! Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Reed, he doesn't want to be a competitor tonight. He wants to be the winner. Yeah, if I come off the fence, I'd given him that first round. I would have to say also that I would give him that first round. However, let's not take Tom, Cox, uh, Tom Watson out of here. Here we equation. go. Look at this, Pierre. This exchange. Look at this. He's got Watson on the back foot and they're accurate and they're hurtful. Now, the thing that I think really controlled the bout is Tom Khan Watson wanted to take it to the ground on a couple of occasions. However, you see that Reedy was the first one to, you know, dive into that well. And he and almost it, got the rear naked here, Pierre. Now, that was so very close. You could see the worry in Tom Khan Watson's face. Big elbow by Watson. Now, Watson is still in this. Yes, he's had his successes, hasn't he? But do you think he, like us, has been surprised by the ferocity of Reed and the way Reed has been happy to stand and trade with him? And as I said, I think over the course of the whole round, I would give it to the challenger. I really would. Now, if I'm talking to Tom Khan Watson, I'm going to tell him, say, look, okay, you felt him. We know what the game plan is. Let's stick to the game plan. Yeah, our other question. We questioned whether Alex had the time and the discipline with everything that's going on in his life for the stamina. He's had a great first round. Can he maintain that? That's the question, surely, because we know Watson can. I think without a doubt. Now, see, that's what I like. Guys at home, you know, there was animosity, but at least as sportsmen, they came to the center, touched gloves, and now it's back to the action. And Alex Reed falls from the pace again, so if we have doubts about his stamina, he obviously doesn't. 
No, not at all. He's pressing the action. He's doing a very smart thing in that he's controlling the forward momentum. Now, what he needs to be careful of is he doesn't overstep or overreach because, as we know, Tom Khan was a very good counter puncher. And the other thing we have to remember that might be in his psyche is the fact that when everything else is equal, the MMA judges will go with aggression. And the aggressor right now, now Reed just checked. I don't know if the, that cut or that mouse to the right side of the head is bothering him, but he did acknowledge that cut. That shot. He has taken damage as well, that's for sure, Pierre. This has been a damaging fight, but this is where he's been so good. This is where I think he's upset the rhythm of the champion. Now let's talk also about the previous fight. We saw a Johnny Phillips won against James Zickett. That was a qualifying match to fight the winner of this bout. Now how do you see that playing out? Well, that would be incredible, whoever he fights, because Alex Reed has proven that he's back. Whatever else happens now is we're in this second round. He has shown everybody that he has got his credibility as a fighter. And they're really sticking to task here. And I've known Alex Reed for a very long time. And I'll tell you what, this is the best he has ever been. And he is so focused. Both men marked up. Do you know what? It's simple but effective. It's straight down the channel here. Straight punches will beat a looping punch every single time. It's just simple mathematics. Good knee from Reed, however. Now you have Tom Khan Watson with Reed up against the fence, and he's pushing the pressure on him now. Uh, and look for a possible takedown attempt. He, he's already shown his hand in that he wanted it to go down to the ground on a couple of occasions. Yeah, I must say that when we were talking before this fight, you said the biggest mistake anyone could make would be to underestimate Alex Reed. And here's the thing, I really don't think that, that Watson did that. But at the same extent, I think he is surprised by the tenacity and the willingness to fight of one Alex Rudinator Reed. But well, he's just been surprised by two sweet left jabs again, and more are coming. This is superb boxing from Reed. Now Reed has gone to the clinch and looking to throw those knees straight up the middle. Now, now again, you should be careful that he doesn't leave that neck out there. Also, Watson threw a left hook that landed. Big knee from Reed though, and a reply from Watson. Reed has shot the boxer upright. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Tom Kong Watson noted for his boxing, and Reed is out boxing him at the moment. And I'm telling you the incredible thing, guys. You were seeing this at home live as a four. Yeah, this is the thing that I worry for Reed especially, is the cardio. They've gone at it incredibly at fast pace. How will the cardio affect the rest of this fight? Because they're looking a bit tired to me now. They're beginning to look a bit ragged. Here's the thing that you got to realize. With fighting, it's almost like chess. You have to pick your moves. One of the moves may be get into a good position, take a couple breaths, choose your spots to get that much needed rest during the round. Well, they've got one and a half minutes left of this round, and Watson's come back strongly towards the end with some good elbows, and then those fists that we're used to seeing from him. Now, Watson has thrown that, that lead kick on a couple of occasions and landed it two to three times. Uh, and Reed has just shook him off. However, now he's opted for the takedown attempt. This is the first time that Reed has found his back against the cage on the mat. But as soon as I say that, he gets right back and onto his And listen to the response from both sets of fans. We can hardly hear ourselves speaking here, Pierre. And it's lived up to the hype. That is what I am so pleased with. Guys, you have gotten your money worth here tonight at Bama 4. And I tell you what, both guys are giving no quarter. Oh, a huge knee from the champion. Then a right hand, Pierre. Now, Reed has got to keep those hands up. And here's the thing, if you're going to come forward, you need to make sure those hands are up. Second part of the round, the champion coming on strong, and he needs to because Reed has been superlative in the early parts. And again, a little knee in there from the challenger. That'll sap your energy. These two men, the energy levels that they've taken into these two rounds have been incredible for them. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, back and forth, this fight has gone with Watson, Sean Glimmers as well as Reedy. And I tell you what, I, as a fan speaking, I appreciate this. Now look at the double, once again, double leg attempt, defended once again by Reedy. Now, I tell you what, it takes so much energy to go for that double and to just to Oh, and look at this, man, Pierre. This has got everyone on their feet. No one is sat in the stadium here. Everyone is standing at the end of that round. And we will look at this, look at the reaction. Watson has come back big. Ladies and gentlemen, MMA, MMA is here to stay. 
And I tell you what, I'm just proud to be a part of this fight because I tell you what, it has lived up to the hype and gone past that. Well, yeah, that second round restarted how he finished the first. But look here, look, this is what the, he did to the champion. Accurate straight down the channel. Big shots. Now, both guys were uh, utilizing the tie clinch. A knee from Reedy. Again, he went right knee first, then left. Then Watson looking. Now, what's the big knee that Watson sets up? Oh, on the yeah. money. The fact that he didn't go down from that is amazing. It didn't look just as bad from the other angle as it did from the first. It doesn't get any prettier, Pierre, that's for sure. But I'm telling you, that was a big time for the champion. He needed that. That's brought him right back into the fight. Hey guys, I don't know if you saw that camera shot in between rounds or in the corner. He's smiling. He's in a happy place right now. He knows he's done his job. Look at them both. They know they've done their job. They are entertaining us here tonight in the best possible way. I tell you what, even if they still have animosity, they will have a much, much respect for each other after this fight. I think that will evaporate the, the animosity in this cage because they have hit each other with everything and neither man has wilted. So here we go. Three of a potential five rounds here. And I tell you what, both guys have looked like they've... Uh, the work rate has gone down a little bit. Now, it's on autopilot. Both guys are tired, and they do, they're going to do what comes well, naturally. I don't know about you, I thought that the initiative switched the champion in the last minute of that previous one. He really did pull on the pressure that you knew in those punches. But do you think that it was enough to steal the round? That's a hard one. It was certainly a better round for the champion, but I just wonder if it means a sea change in the actual way the whole fight's going to go. We're talking five rounds here. 25 minutes of action, potentially. And ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, it really takes a lot. I mean, you have to train day in, day out to go, you know, 25 minutes. That's five, five-minute rounds, throwing knees, kicks, punches. And now that we're talking about some of the tools that you use in the cage, let's let everybody know that this is also a sport with, you know, uh, fighter safety is paramount. They're wearing gloves that have to be signed off. They've got gum shields and boxes. And also, the ref can call the fight at any time if he thinks that somebody's not intelligently defending. Oh, Big good shot work by both team. men, Pierre. Reed first, then the champion, the back afterwards. This is tip for track stuff, and it's hurtful, and it's hard. And it's accurate. And a little showboating there from Alex Reed. I don't know if he's trying to bait him in for a big shot. But let's talk about the, the, the shots of Tom Tom Watson. I believe a big right cross on the button. Alex and Reed called him on, Pierre. Showman to the last here. Oh, that kick called him, though. The front kick from Watson. As he called him on, Watson responded. Now, here's the thing. That may be a mistake that he's going to have to pay for. This is the first time that Reed has been on his back. However, saying that, this has been covered in training, without a doubt, at London Shoot. Those guys are known for their grappling, so he's been in this situation many, many a time. Reed is cut on the nose, on the bridge of the nose, from that front kick from Kong. And again, it was just as he called his man on, Kong responded and said, yeah, okay, you've got it. And guys, how easy would it be just to let that, let that happen, you know what I mean? Hey, I got hit. Nobody will think worse of me if I go out here. Not at this stage of the fight, Pierre, you're dead right. And this guy, though, is showing the heart. Wow, big knee from Watson. He's just showing the heart. A lesser man would have stopped right then and there. Big, big He's shot for the time, finish here, Pierre. He can sense it. As you said, the one thing about Watson is that phenomenal stamina. It's unbelievable, his cardio. And that could be the sheer difference between the two men. Now, guys in the gym say this guy goes round after round after round and is able now... <laughs> He's got to be careful. This is where he got hit the first time that dropped him. Big shot again from Tom Carl Watson. Now, I don't understand that because Watson was, you know, he was commanding the stand-up, so why take it to the ground? I think he changed his mind there because he went for the double leg, then just stopped. Maybe he was using that to cut down the distance to possibly go for a tie clinch to throw the knees. As I say that, he goes straight into the tie plumb. Both men are physically ebbing now because this has been so hard and hurtful and every shot has been loaded here from round one first second and i'll tell you what this is where mentally you have to dig in the trenches you have to want to be there you as a person you test yourself in the later rounds last I minute and a half here and as you said 
pace going dramatically. But there's a reason for that. We can understand why. Big one-two combination again by Reed. Reed has landed with that uh, a high percentage. Now Watson returns the favor. And to use an old-fashioned term, Pierre, both men are now banged up. They, they're definitely showing the battle scores, and I'll tell you what, uh, they're not going to be that pretty come tomorrow. I think Alex Reed will be wearing them with pride because I think he shocked everyone. We're coming into the last minute of round three, and he's still giving the champion everything to think about. Now Reed is throwing that front kick again and again. Now we need to, I'd like to see him throw that front kick and come over the top with a big overhand right uppercut. And he's got to quit dipping the head because he's coming dangerously oh, close yeah, to a lot of me. He had a, yeah, he had a big, move. big jab again from Reed. One, two combination lands. Now, just watching uh, Watson's punches, they, they still got some zip on it. I know what you're saying because Alex landed flush with his own right hand and he didn't quite have the same effect on the champion now. And he's beginning to breathe very heavily, Pierre, the challenger. Now here's the thing, when you open your mouth and you're breathing like that, that's a telltale sign that you know you're feeling the round, you're feeling that work rate. So now he needs to pick his spots and make each shot count. But let's put this in perspective here. No one thought he'd be here at the end of round three. I think everyone, the smart money was on Watson for finishing before this and we're going into round four. Okay, guys, this is Bama 4. Let's talk about what Bama 5. If you think this is exciting, wait till we bring the beast to the shores of the UK. And we talk of Tom Kong Watson. Well, you want to see King Kong, that is the beast that is Bob Zapp. Now, we're moving back to the replay now. Again, both guys' hands are kind of kind of oh, low. Oh, that knee sunk him for the first time, yeah. But let's talk about reach chip from that knee. Now, I think he's going to I think gonna show another replay. Yeah, and wow, that was on the money. I'll tell you what, again, I'll reiterate it. Now, a lesser man would have stopped. Who can doubt Reed's chin now? Look at this. And look at the way he comes back. This is what's got the crowd on their feet. No one is sitting in this arena. We are full at the National Indoor Arena, and no one is in their chair. Now, did you see that last punch combination from Watson? He had a lot of zip. It was punches and bunches, and technically, it was sound. So we're coming into round four, and this is all about cardio. This is all about stamina. This is all about heart. Katie Price will be proud of her man here tonight. That is for sure. So as you said, that mutual respect again. It's been earned tonight in the cage. The hardest arena of all. The trash talking stops, the hurting starts, and it's really happened tonight. Both guys are banged up. Both guys are up to this point have given their all. There's nobody here within this arena that can doubt that. And Pierre, going into round four, I still think it's on a knife edge. Without a doubt, it's gonna, you know what, I would not want to be a judge tonight because they are gonna have a very hard decision if it comes to that. That's the great thing about being sat in the commentary position. We can give an informed opinion, but we don't have to judge it. We can afford to be wrong, the judges can't. And I agree with you, Pierre, with the way this fight has gone back and forward, I would not want to be a judge. Now Watson has picked up the pace a little bit on the punches. A lot of probing punches, and boom! Right over the top comes a right hand, and he's still trying to sneak in those elbows. They will take their toll, Pierre. The right eye is now bleeding slightly freely from the corner of Alex Reed. Now Reed, I believe Reed does have knockout power. One knockout, and again, wow, so close with that knee. He can't bring his head down, Pierre. He's had too many warnings. One of those will eventually take him, though, no matter how hard his chin is. He can't keep risking those. No. But, but again, going back to, to Reedy, he's had, I think, I believe he's got more blood coming out of that. And again, as soon as I say that, he touches it. So that is bothering him to some extent. He's bleeding from the nose, he's bleeding from the eye. Watson is bleeding from the eye. It's this sort of fight. And that's why those sort of punches. I'll tell you what, Watson is still crisp on the punches and he's still using good footwork. Elbow returned by Reedy. Oh, this is. Devastating from both men. This is exhilarating stuff, Pierre. Guys, still so bad. If I was not working here tonight, I'd be at the Ticketmaster and in the line queuing up right now just to see this. This is incredible. And listen to the crowd respond. Watson stepping up the pace again, Pierre. 
Yes, he is. And he's getting that feedback from the crowd that makes him want to do that. Retai, something's wrong with Retai. He's not happy. He put his hand up there to, to Tom Con Watson to sort of say it's not. He's not happy with that IPA. Now here's the thing: is Mark Mark Hart showed in that UFC fight, you can't complain to the ref in the middle of a bout, or else you will get sparked out. Reedy's going to have to cover up. He's got two and a half minutes left. But look, the eye is troubling him, definitely. Now, if it gets to be a big problem during the rounds, you know, the ref may call the doctor to take a look at that. Yes, they're not interested yet because he is fighting back, but it could be a problem. They might want to get him back to the corner first before they call the doctor in. But you saw there for a moment, it could be as simple as the blood and sweat running into the eye now, Pierre. And that causes your vision to go a little bit blurry. And it's, you know, that's one place you do not want blurry vision is when another man is trying to take your head off. And when that man's Tom Con Watson. Big head high shot again by Watson. That's like the fourth or fifth one he's landed. Now, again, he sinks the single, switches back over to a double, and back to the single. Now, he's, now that is very smart. He's not going and putting all his eggs in one basket. He's switching, working opposite sides of the body. Very good wrestling from a Tom Con Watson. Oh, look at the damage as well, Pierre, to Watson's eye. Neither man is coming out and scathed from this battle. But Reed is beginning to just look slightly more tired of the two. Facial damage beginning to show both eyes now and the nose. He takes a big, oh, a little short uppercut from him. But he takes a knee and Watson finishing strongly now. And the elbow, these are dangerous times for Alex Reed and Nature Reed, Pierre. Now Reed is going for the guillotine choke. Watson is going to have to defend and he releases. Now, the thing that Watson did that I loved just then, he set up the tight clinch through the knee and then ripped Reedy around. It basically it messes with your balance, and he immediately throws a shot up over the top of that. Very good basic tie boxing. Yeah, this is systematically banging up the face of Alex Reed. Eyes, nose, mouth. The whole front of his face now shows the scars of battle. And it's come, as you said, those short, chopping punches and elbows and knees. Now, the thing that is most remarkable about now, have you noticed who was pressing the action? In the first couple of rounds, it was Reedy. Now, this, the roles have reversed. Watson is coming forward. Yes, he's coming forward strongly. I will be very interested to see what Reed's corner say when he gets back there at the end of the fourth. After all this, will there be a fifth PA? I predict, yes, we've got 15 seconds. Will there be a fifth? And I tell you what, there will be a fifth, and it will be the best fifth round that you've ever seen. I can almost guarantee it. So much is on the line for these guys here tonight. Yeah, as we count down that gender round, I've got that a big one for the champion, I've got to be honest. Yeah, without a doubt, I think he did tend to take over. And I tell you what is really amazing is that Reedy is still standing. I mean, how many knees has he taken? How many elbows? This guy. Don't you dare rest on that fence. Do you understand me? When you're on the fence, you come in and you turn him and you beat him. Alex, you're looking for one knee. Go. Get him to stop going low to the edge. Head, okay? you are gonna, Alex, you're going to win this round. Take a deep breath. You're going to win this round. Do you understand me? Alex, you're looking fucking spectacular. You're looking spectacular. Yeah. I love you, Alex. Listen to that crowd for this, the fifth and final round. What a war it's been, and there's the respect we talked about, Pierre. Guys, I'm, I'm not even. I'm a big fan of sportsmanship, and it shows that you could, you know, you could get in there and you could try to do knees, elbows, but at the same time still show a little respect. Yeah, we gave the champion a big fourth, but the other rounds, well, what do we say? If this one is close, are we looking at a potential rematch? I'm going to tell you right now. I would pay double the money, whoever, you know, that they paid tonight to get in here just to see a rematch. This has had everything. The story, the build-up up to this point has been amazing. And they took me along for a beautiful ride. And Pierre, more importantly, it's lived up to the hype. This is why people would want to see a second fight. And I tell you what, if they threw this on the Bama website, 
and they asked the fans, do you want a rematch? I guarantee you, it would be unanimous. Yes, yes, yes. But again, the champion stepping up the pace one more. He is asking the most vital questions of the challenger now. Now, Reedy has gone some, a possible, now he's got to be careful. He went for a single leg to a double, and then Watson snuck in the guillotine choke. However, now it's broken up, and oh. big right cross. Big knee from Reedy. Excuse me, from Tom Khan Watson, landed on the button. How was Reedy standing? I'll tell you what, if people didn't think this man was still a fighter, if we showed a collection of the shots he's taken in this fight and stayed up from and given as good as he got back, this man is still a mixed martial artist by anyone's standard. I tell you what, prove to me that he's not, and I'll meet you out in the car park with you, of course, Michael. Well, Pierre, this has lived up to all expectations. The arena is buzzing. Everybody's on their feet. There's not a, a seat left in the house. The heat in here is phenomenal. It must be incredible for them in the cage. And Watson steps it up once more. Now, what he's done is he's capitalized on um, Reedy's hands being down by his waist. He'll throw a couple shots. Reedy backs off, gives him space to throw off a couple more shots. But it makes it so much easier when your hands are down. But we can allow the fatigue now because, oh, Watson has really stepped it up here. Now he's really his punch drunk. Now, why did he go for the takedown? I tell you what, he, now saying that he completes the takedown, however, Reedy is in a bad position here. He needs to push out. He needs to get back onto his feet, or he needs to at least go half the I think Tom, Tom Watson saw the fatigue here, thought this is the moment, ground and pound finish. Look at the face of Alex Reed. Look at the marks on that face. Well, I tell you what, he was punch struck on the stand-up. Tom Conn Watson, if we can see a replay at the end of this, he hit him with some solid shots. And they were punches and punches, not singles. He's bleeding freely now, Pierre, from the damage there. He is really bleeding freely. This has been a phenomenal battle. This has been a huge war. And Reed is still there. Now, Reedy is sinking in, possible triangle choke. However, guys, it's really hard to hold on to that when you're that slick. The perspiration, the blood, the what, the four hard-fought rounds. Just imagine if he'd have got it, though, Pierre. Just imagine what would have happened. Now the action is stood back up. Big jab. Oh, superb from both men both. right to the end of the round. Both guys landed at the exact same time. But what would you do if it was a double knockout? Oh, Pierre. I would love to see a rematch. Look at Kong's face as well now. When we said this was about pride, all you have to do is take a photo of both men after this. Now the roles have reversed. Now Tom Pound Watson is trying to apply a triangle choke of his own. Reedy has got to pull his head up. He's got to posture up. He is in a very bad position. He's going for a possible slam. Oh, listen to the crowd reaction. They have had everything here in this fight at Bama 4. Here at the National Indoor Arena, this has been superb. Guys, it's three words, back and forth. Last minute, Pierre. This is hard to call. This is hard to call. If we went round one challenger, round four champion, how do you score the others? You know what? I'm not even going to bother to say, because i tell you what, I think both guys are winners here tonight, without a doubt. They gave 100%. They left it all out in the cage. And you know what? As soon as this bout is over, standing ovation for me, because both of these boys deserve it. Reed's left eye is now closed. Reed's left eye is closed, Pierre. Look at that. He can't see out that anymore. Now look at this, he's got that sunk in very, very tight. However, saying that, now this is going to be interesting here with 17 seconds left to go in the last championship round. This would round. be a rocky story if he gets this. Oh, Watson pops out. We are going to decision. Well, Alex Reed, I think, has earned the respect of the country, Pierre. I tell you what, UK can, the UK can be Look proud of that. their two sons. Look at that, he has earned the respect of the country, Pierre. What a fight. What a fight indeed. Look at both men's faces. This was straight out of the movies. What an unbelievable fight. And we're still going to have to wait for the result. Pierre, you're on your feet. The crowd are on their feet. Alex Reed has earned the respect of the country. I tell you what, this has been an amazing bout. Uh, look at the, look at the, the relief from the guys. 
both get a special Look replay. at that right hand, Pierre. Look at the knee. Guys, there was no lull in this fight. It was punch after punch, knee after knee. You saw it from the stand up to the ground. And again, that knee by Tom Kong Watson, that put an exclamation This is where point. you said, Pierre, why did he go for the double leg when he was wobbling like that? I think that now, I think that was a mistake. This could have been a finish. I, I have to reiterate that. I thought that he had a punch drunk on his feet. And I think that if he would have picked his shot, pressed the issue, he could have done it. One more knee, Pierre, could have been it at the stoppage. Now, we have this heart-rending decision. The crowd will have to think because Reed is still there. Look at those two men's faces. They left it all in the cage. Guys, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit selfish. I'm going to start the chant rematch. Rematch. I agree with you, Pierre. Rematch. I would pay good money to see this. But before the rematch, we've got the Beast in Newcastle on December the 4th. You know what? Wow. I've, I've, this guy's an international superstar. Been in the movies. Film star. Yeah, without a doubt. Been in the movies. He's also uh, been in the top organizations in Japan. This guy is a legitimate star. Okay? Now, let's take the Crazy Bear, Stab Kanemu. Crazy Bear doesn't care. He fights anyone, anywhere, anytime. And he's got a head like rock. And guys, if you're not going to tune in, I'm telling you, you are going to be missing something special at Bama 5. For the fourth, Newcastle. Perhaps the greatest Bama fight ever. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Andy Roberts scores at 49-46. Judge Mark Woodard scores at 49-46. Judge Paul Sutherland scores at 49-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And still! No disrespect to Alex Reed. I think it's probably the right decision, but what a great fight. Look at this. There's the respect. I tell you what, I'm speechless. And not because of the decision. I think that was the right decision. But I'm speechless because I, I tell you what, guys, this was something special that happened here tonight.